Kaboom! Oh, they're like just totally gone. We still took two hits. Unbelievable. Oh god, there's all these things! Didn't even notice. Oh my god, okay. So, we, it kind of worked. Oh my god. <laughs> Merry Holidays, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, slash extended vacation to everybody else. Uh, I hope, I hope you guys are on vacation. Extended vacation to the rest of you. Welcome to the first episode of my holiday series. Yes, if you follow my channel regularly, you know I usually play the Thousand One Games Just Play Before You Die book. Um, but today we're putting that on hold because it is the holidays. And we are entering a winter level wonderland. Over the next few days, I'm going to be playing around with games and have either a wintry or holiday theme going on. And so we're going to fully encapsulate the holidays that are upon us by playing some holiday games. Um, so the first game that we've got is Jazz Jackrabbit Holiday Hair. Look at that snow building up on the, the menu there. That's actually pretty cool. Um, these are the high scores that we have to beat, scores of 10,000. Everyone got a score of 10,000, we can totally beat that. Um, it turns out, by the way, that holiday, like, like specifically Christmas-themed video games are harder to come by than you'd think. I have this one and I have one more that are specifically sort of uh, Christmas-themed, but beyond that, we're gonna have to use some imagination and include wintry level games. Actually, I think I have one more. Okay, maybe they're easier to come by than think. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in here into Jazz Jackrabbit. Oh God, he looks like he's, he looks like he's depressed. Look at that look on his face. Um, oh, he looks like a baby there. Oh, I guess if you go like more hardcore, he gets more angry. Oh God, now he's like hulking out. He's like Squanchy in uh, that episode of Rick and Morty when he goes all Squanch crazy. Let's just do medium because I've never played this game before. This game is basically one of the great platformers on DOS. Um, and so it's sort of reminiscent of like Sonic the Hedgehog and kind of like uh, Duke Nukem. Not 3D, but the Duke Nukem's before it was 3D. So Jazz Jackrabbit is more than just a holiday game. There's all sorts of different um, shareware uh, episodes that you can play. And so here's just some of them. There's the tortoise who's the bad guy in Jazz Jackrabbit land. So I guess Jazz Jackrabbit is based off of the tortoise and the hare. Um, he's kind of, so he's kind of based off that fable. He kind of strikes me as like a Bugs Bunny kind of character. As we'll see, he also really runs fast. So he's kind of got like Sonic too. He wears this like sweet bandana. So there's a bit of a Rambo in him too. And he travels around to different planets. So he's got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Uh, a whole bunch of different things. So here we go. So yeah, you can like run really fast just by running around. We got some nice Christmassy music in the background. Um, in fact, I'm gonna go in and just adjust the music levels here. There we go. I think that's a little better. So we can kind of hear the music, but we can also uh, hear jazz. So okay, here's my first enemy, a drunk mouse. We'll just kill him. He exploded, and that's how th that's how you do the holidays, guys. So. In fact, this isn't so much holiday themed as much as it is like candy and cookie themed. So I'm hoping that we see some presents and stuff uh, soon, but or later in the game. We got a holiday star in the background there. See that star in the background? Pretty cool stuff. Um, oh, am I like I'm like shooting candy now? Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, so you can pick up different guns, I guess. So this is the, the standard gun. Oh no, wait, that's not even the standard gun. Damn it, I keep picking up guns and I'm wasting them. Uh, getting some Hershey's kisses. I wonder if they partnered with... Oh, God, how did I get up here? I don't even know what I picked up there. This this game, things are happening so fast. It's like, you, you guys know when you play Sonic the Hedgehog? It's like sometimes stuff happens way too fast in the levels and, like, you can't figure out what's going on. It's like, imagine that, only... Oh, God, like, how did I get up here? Man, I'm just, like, all over the place. How do I get these things? I, I don't even know. Right, we're just going to go with it. And... Man, he, he's like all over the place. I find this game actually has really fast vertical scrolling and it's kind of disorienting me. <laughs> it, it's like um, when I play Super Nintendo games um, or like Sega Genesis games, I'm jumping up and down. It feels like a little smoother. Here it almost moves too fast. The camera's almost too locked onto me, if you guys know what I mean. Like when I'm jumping up and down. I don't know if you guys are finding it slightly disorienting, but I kind of am. Um, I guess there's a way to change your weapon too, but oh God, I'll let the mouse touch me. Come here, buddy. Hey, a carrot! Finally, some, some healthy food. Man, if you were in a land of winter and candy, 
How awesome would that be? There'd be snow everywhere, so it'd be kind of cold. But you would also get to eat all the chocolate you want. Look, there's literally a giant gingerbread man. That could feed that could feed a family of six for a week. That could be their Christmas dinner. Okay, let's uh, keep going this way. So I've never played played Jazz Jackrabbit before. Um, I always knew it was like a Christmassy themed game though, and so I definitely sort of had it earmarked as a game I should play around Christmas sometime, um, or the holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas. Um, I always say Christmas, even though like. You know, I'm not, you know, I don't really go to church or anything like that. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really into, like, Christmas Christmas, but there's kind of, like, two versions of Christmas. There's, like, the Christmas that uh, people who are sort of, like, into, like, Christianity and stuff celebrate. And then there's kind of, like, Christmas for the rest of us. It's kind of like Festivus. It's the Festivus for the rest of us. It's, it's the, it's the Christmas where you go out and literally murder two of your fellow humans on Black Friday in order to get gifts for your children. And you get a Christmas tree, which has nothing to do with Jesus. And you go ahead and uh, buy a bunch of gifts and put them under the tree. And I mean, that's that's the Christmas. When I say Christmas, that's what I'm referring to. I'm referring to literally trees and presents. Oh, God, I died. Oh, no. Do we have to do this whole level over again? Oh, my God. Okay, I need to I need to uh, concentrate a bit more. I thought I thought we'd just fly through this, but uh, at least the first level. And I, uh, oh, my God. Come on, Jay. Get your, get your shit together, Jay. Um, so yeah, yeah, there's kind of like two versions of Christmas, which I always thought was funny, because like, again, yeah, like, you know, I celebrate Christmas, but I celebrate the gift version. Whoa, we found a secret! Yeah, we did. Alright, maybe it was a good thing we had to go back. Huh. So I guess this game is full of secrets, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I was thinking, like, when I started to load up this game, I was kind of interesting that DOS never really had, like, a killer platformer. Yeah. Like, it certainly had platformers. Like, this is an example, you know, like, I, I was trying to think, like, what's the most iconic DOS platformer that I could come up with? And I guess Commander Keen is the only thing I could think of. And Commander Keen is certainly a very popular DOS platformer. But I mean iconic. Like, you can't think of the Nintendo without thinking about Mario. You can't think of Sega without thinking about Sonic. Like, those, those characters in those games, those platformers, are, like, synonymous with the console. DOS never really had that. I mean, DOS wasn't made by, like, a single company. Well, I guess, like, IBM or whatever. Microsoft made DOS, but it's, like, it wasn't like Nintendo or Sega back in the day. DOS was just an operating system. Um, so it's far more decentralized. So it would make sense that there wouldn't be, like, a single company that had a stake in, in uh, sort of creating uh, an image of DOS. Um, but nonetheless, it's, it's interesting that, like, there wasn't, like, a single... Rapid fire. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. <laughs> Very Christmassy. This feels like the 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 Bugs Bunny Die Hard of Christmas, because like Die Hard is a Christmas movie, but it's like it's literally just about like killing terrorists and stuff, which is actually awesome. That's my kind of Christmas movie. That or Gremlins. That's another great Christmas movie. Or Batman Returns, um, which you didn't hear from me, but we might be playing a video game based on that uh, because uh, that because I love Batman and uh, it's it's a, a flimsy excuse to play a Batman game Christmas. So there you go. Um, I totally lost my train of thought, though. Um, damn it, I hate when that happens. I probably remember, like, halfway through the video what I was talking about. Oh, wait, I know. I was talking about how there's no definitive platformers. Is this the end of the level? What are we... Oh, yeah, we just... <laughs> All right, we passed the level. We did it. We are Christmas heroes to the land of bunnies. All right. I would like to know the backstory for little Jazz Jackrabbit here. Like, what am I trying to accomplish? Other than disliking tortoises and just wanting to like you know change all their signs to be that of rabbits is there anything else i'm trying to accomplish do i have any goals is there like a princess in peril or a planet that needs saving or something you know like wh what's my motivation what's my motivation chief rabbit fire, rabbit fire. yeah look at that <laughs> I mean, like, do we need this? Is This is a little, when every enemy dies in one hit, this is a little excessive. Well, I'll take it, but it's pretty excessive and funny. Um, anyway, yeah, there's no there's no iconic platformer on DOS the way there was uh, with Mario and Sonic. And, like, I don't know, like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys can think of an iconic platformer. Again, like, I think Commander Keen is, like, the go-to one that most people would say. And I agree, Commander Keen is an amazing game. Um, and it definitely is iconic and all that stuff, but I don't think it's oops, uh, as iconic of DOS as Mario or Sonic were of, um, let's just go down here. 
We, we found a secret, guys. As Mario or Sonic were of their respective systems. So yeah, I don't know. I, I definitely don't think Jazz Jackrabbit here um, it fits the bill of being an iconic uh, platformer, dude. Um, other interesting bit of trivia about this game, by the way, it was developed by Epic... Epic Mega Games? Or Epic Games? I think they changed their name later just to Epic Games. Uh, but Epic Mega Games, I think, is what they were called when they made this. And uh, you might recognize Epic Mega Games. They made a couple of games like Jill in the Jung or Jill of the Jungle, Jill of the Jungle, Jill in the Jungle. One Must Fall 2097, which is like a DOS uh, kind of brawling game with up an RPG upgrade system, which is actually pretty cool. It's also my nice. They also made a little game called uh, Unreal Tournament Edition. Um, oh, and there was this Gears of War series. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, um, but yeah, they they've. Suffice to say, they've produced some uh, quality titles over the years. Um, it is hilarious to think of, like, the company that would make Gears of War. We're, like, getting their start here. What were they, like, perfecting, like, the shooting mechanics with, like, animated rabbits before they moved on to, like, post-apocalyptic sci-fi, uh, you know, like, Rambo dudes? Uh, it's pretty, pretty amusing. Same with, like, uh, the company that makes uh, Grand Theft Auto. Um... Is that a checkpoint or what? The company that makes Grand Theft Auto Rockstar, they got their start with Lemmings. Good old Lemmings. And, oh, uh, what the hell? Let's just spoil the whole uh, Winter Wonderland series. There will, there may possibly be some kind of Lemming-like appearance. Um, you might be able to guess what holiday game I have lined up for that. It's actually pretty damn obvious when you think about it. But I'll let you guys do the thinking in this case. So, yeah, it's always amusing, like, one of, one thing that I found really interesting going through my little quest here, playing through all these different video games, is uh, just learning about what companies got their start doing what. Like, it's very interesting, like, the company that made Gears of War got their start doing this, you know, the company that made Grand Theft Auto start off doing Lemmings, like, it's, it's just, it's just fascinating. Um, Rare, the company that made, uh, you know, Goldeneye and stuff like that, Perfect Dark, they got their start making uh, games on the ZX Spectrum. Um, I think they were under a different name, but then like later on they w went and made Battletoads and stuff like that. So it's, it's really interesting. Actually, are there other examples you guys can think of of like companies or like a game developer who like made something really iconic later on, but they got their start doing something that is not as iconic, but is definitely recognizable and is like kind of funny when you think about it in retrospect, like this, you know. Again, I would not expect the company that made Gears of War to necessarily be into the whole animated rabbit stuff. So it is kind of uh, interesting that they did it. So, yeah, I don't know. Can you guys think of any other examples? Educate me! Educate me! I have I have some time off. I'm in vacation mode, guys. Um, if, you know, in vacation mode, by the way. So, as I said already, the 1001 series is on hold. Once this little Winter Wonderland uh, playthrough series is over, we'll go, we'll go till uh, Christmas. Um, I'll... I'll put up a video every couple of days for you guys so we can play a different wintry video game so be sure to tune back in i hope you guys are all on uh, vacation taking breaks um but after that after we complete our little winter wonderland series um i'm still gonna play some just games that are just off the book just for fun um and i guess i'll just throw them all under the saturday afternoon gaming moniker because hey when you're on vacation every day feels like a saturday hey look we're in legoland now legoland Where's Legolas? Are you guys hearing the like uh, remixed Christmas songs in the background, by the way? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what you guys do when you're on vacation, but literally me, it's like I spend most of the day in my pajamas. I'm like predominantly in my pajamas or like under blankets. I'm just uh, hanging out, watching shows, eating food I shouldn't be eating, playing. I sound like a child. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm like in my 30s, but hey. Um, you, you, you gotta, you know what, you gotta be young at heart. Oh god, a plane just got me. Hey look, it's the Energizer Bunny. The Epix Bunny. Here, here's something mind-blowing. Did you know that the Energizer Bunny was actually a ripoff of a bunny that Duracell created? Duracell was the first battery company to use a pink bunny to advertise their battery. And then Energizer ripped that off and made their Energizer Bunny, and they gave him a drum. And then Duracell abandoned their bunny because they thought it was getting too confusing for customers. That is right. The Energizer Bunny is actually the second bunny from a battery company to advertise batteries. Uh, that is weird, man. Like, I... Like, even I... Like, I'm old, man. I don't even remember the, the Duracell Bunny. I didn't even know that was a thing. I just thought it was all... I thought it was, you know, the Energizer Bunny was the Alpha and the Omega. It was just... 
Always, always that way. Oh, got like a Jack in the Box. That is a terrifying Jack in the Box. You got that. I feel like Jack in the Boxes are those like um, cartoony presents that like in cartoons and stuff, characters are always getting Jack in the Boxes as presents, but like I have never seen, I don't think, a Jack in the Box in real life. At least definitely not a modern Jack in the Box toy. Like who the heck buys Jack in the Boxes? What, what terrible toys? It's like it's a box that you wind up and then a thing pops out and it's like, that's it, I guess. So like now you know. Oh, we can like switch our weapon too. Oh, we just blew up the whole screen. It's awesome, let's get another one of those. I'll have that one again. Oh, so there is a button to change your weapon. See, I should be paying attention to this, guys. This horrifying Jack in the Box. What was the coolest present that you ever got for Christmas? The toaster. That's the weapon I've got right now. That's, that's, not, a, that's not a cool gift. A toaster would suck, especially if you're a kid. Who wants a toaster? Yeah, like, what's, what's the coolest gift? that you ever got. Uh, I think my coolest gift was like, is this bird a good thing or a bad thing? I think he's gonna follow me around and help me. Or he's gone. Thanks a lot, bird. Kill these anima animated dolls. Where am I anyway? Like I thought I was in Christmas land. Now I'm in toy land and I'm fighting like dolls and stuff. This is getting weird, man. Um, I think my best gift ever was my NES. That was a Christmas gift, and oh no, get me out of here! Oh no, get me out! Oh, back in the spikes twice in a row! Oh god, it is it is hard to do precision platforming. Oh, you tricked me <laughs> in this game. I thought it was gonna come right to the ledge. Mega, they're really advertising ep epic mega games a lot in this game, which like fair on them. But yeah, this by the way, th these springs totally look like Sonic the Hedgehog, right? Like I said, this game is like Sonic the Hedgehog. Totally looks like it. Um, yes, anyway, my NES was a Christmas present. I played that thing so much that my parents had to take it away from me. It was bad news. I, I was addicted to video games when I was a kid. I mean, I say when I was a kid, like, as if things have changed all that much. But when I was a kid, I was, like, really addicted to video games, if you can believe it. I used to. Um, so when I was a kid, my parents uh, were split up. Um, and my dad had, like, video games at his house. So whenever we visited him, I would literally go to bed early. And I would wake up, I'm not kidding you, like really early in the morning and I would just play video games like until he got up. Like I just wanted as much gaming, all I cared about was games. I just wanted as much game time as I could have. I would literally wake up at like six, five, I think sometimes I got up at 3 a.m. and I would sneak down to the living room and he would be asleep and I would play video games for like nine hours until he woke up. <laughs> and it was like the greatest nine hours of my little life. I was like this little video game junkie when I was a kid, man. Um, speaking of getting up early, remember when you used to actually get up early for Christmas? Like if you celebrated Christmas and your parents bought you gifts, it was a common thing to like get up at like the crack of dawn. Not even dawn, like it'd still be dark out and you'd go and try and wake your parents up. Um, as a kid, I never understood. I always hated how my parents would make me wait before I opened the gifts. But as an adult now, I'm just, all, all I can think about is like, man, when I have kids, they are not gonna let me sleep and it's gonna be horrible. I mean, that's why stockings I think were invented. It's to give kids something to keep themselves occupied with so that parents don't have to get up. Like, just open your goddamn stocking and let me sleep, you little punk. That's basically, that. that's what I'll sound like as a parent. Oh God, fall down again. Ah, oh, damn it. I should have turned this on easy perhaps because I think the only difference between easy and medium and hard and stuff is like how many hits you can take. And I definitely need, oh God. Oh, I'm like slipping off this thing. I definitely need more hits. Okay, here we go. I know that this one doesn't come all the way over. Wise to that. Oh, look at that, I made that jump. Oh, boom, oh no. Shoot. Ah! <laughs> Just like shooting preemptively. I can't take a single hit. Oh my God, carrots. Oh, no, no, no. So the carrots heal ya. I've definitely figured that out. So Jazz Jackrabbit here can eat all the candy he wants. It will not heal him. He needs the power, the power of keratin to heal him. Oh, and he has like little bubbles around him now. It's like a Sonic the Hedgehog shield. I like it. I like just killing these like random Lego men. Although this weapon sucks for that. Here, hold on. There we go. Kill the Lego men. Blow their freaking heads off. Do you guys ever do that with your toys when you were a kid? Like get out a magnifying glass and burn? I think the first time I realized a magnifying glass could burn things 
Like every kid who realized it, I was like, oh my god, where are all the toys I don't care about? <laughs> it's like my first reaction, once I found out that that you could use that to do to, to burn things, I was like, what of mine do I have that I can destroy? Because it's it's getting destroyed today. Um Oh, this little shield is actually super handy, just like absorbs hits for you. Yeah, I definitely remember destroying toys when I was a kid. It, it's just something kids do. I don't know. I, you know what? Actually, I guess it's it's more things that like boys do. Like I remember once when um, me and my brother went over to our cousin's house. So me and my brother went over, and my cousin, it w there was like uh, you know a boy and a girl, and um, we we're hanging out with my cousin um, Tim in the uh, like toy room downstairs, and he had like a Hot Wheels set of like uh, cars, and he had this like launcher. It was like a, a mechanized thing where you could uh, put the cars into the launcher and it would like launch them up a ramp. And the idea was to do jumps and stuff. But what we decided would be cool is if we like launch them across the room um, into um, his sister's toys. We, we just sort of thought, oh, it'd be fun. Like she has a bunch of Barbies and like stuff over there. Why don't we just like launch these cars at her stuff and oh that sucks that's what a trap that is we gotta jump over this thing um and see like not only can we make them jump across the room oh god get away from me but can we like break some of her stuff and uh to her credit his sister was totally on board she uh she was like yeah boys let's do this <laughs> so she assisted us launching cars oh no we died yes oh yeah suckers I wasn't killed at all. I was just playing posse to get on that sweet gurney for a little ride. That's what Jazz is up to. Yeah, so anyway, to to, uh, to her credit, his sister totally helped us destroy her stuff. I don't think we actually broke all that much, but like, I just imagine, like at the time when you're a kid, it's like, that sounds totally awesome. I just imagine like, the parents were like upstairs, like having coffee and stuff, and they could just hear destruction happening in the basement. And like, when you're a parent and you just hear kids breaking stuff, you just have to decide, is it something that if it's broken, I'm really gonna care about? Or can I just kind of let this one go? Oh, these guys are like the ghosts in Mario. When you face away from them, they come towards you. Interesting. I think, by the way, I don't feel bad about killing these Lego dudes, because I'm pretty sure it's Lego guys that are piloting these space, these uh, planes. Look at these guys. Get down over here and get killed! Get killed! Get killed! Yeah, we got him. Alright. Get rid of those guys. So I'm getting stuck on this level, which is surprising. Oh, damn it. I looked away for two seconds just to check how long this video's been going. <laughs> Stupid plane got me. That is intimidating as anything. Look at this. Oh, God. This is loud. <laughs> Right, we gotta plan our way through this level a bit better, I think. I think I've been doing a bad job of planning. So what are you guys hoping to get for... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, we got a 1-Up! Sweet. What are you guys hoping to get for Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, People Day? I don't know. What are the other holidays? Festivus. I always like the idea of Festivus, actually. Um, again, because I only celebrate the Christmas version where you just buy presents and stuff. So, hell, it doesn't have to be called Christmas, in my opinion. I, I, I like the idea of uh, Seinfeld's Festivus, so. Yeah, what are you guys getting for Festivus this year? Are there any, like, must-play video games on your list? Are there any games... Oops, let's try this. Oh, man, the thing is, if the, the things aren't on the screen... Man, th this part is, like, really hard. Oh my god, I can't get by it. I I think I was really lucky when I first got to this level because... Wait, I just noticed, does Jazz Jackrabbit just have a crayon? Is that his weapon, a crayon? God, there's planes everywhere. Uh, when I first got to this level, I had a shield and all these power-ups and stuff. Now I don't have any of that, so that sucks. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pass this level. But yeah, what's on your Christmas list? Both in terms of what do you want to get for Christmas... And what do you want to play for Christmas? So what are you guys doing over the break? Um, do, do you guys have a break? Do you have some time off? If you do, are you visiting family? Are you, uh, have you reserved that time for catching up on all the Netflix shows that you have not been watching? Are you, re oh God. 
Man, they're getting they're getting relentless. This this game went from like moderately difficult to like I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Okay, we gotta we, we clearly gotta get rid of these things. These things are just like all kinds of problem. problems. Problems. Okay, you two. Come on. Okay, we got rid of those guys. We now have a shot. Let's see. Oh, you can just like hear the rain of bullets over here. Okay. Hey oh! Trying. There we go. Let's try to do this. Hmm. Damn it. Okay. Damn it. Two hits. That's okay. I can survive two. Three I can't do. Let's get out of here. Okay, we have made it to this point. Okay, focus, Jay. As long as I can get a carrot or two, I'll be good. Uh, but yeah, what are you planning to do over the break? And what are you hoping to get over the break? Um, any sweet gifts? Any sweet games? Any games I should know about? So, I mean, uh, I'm always willing to take recommendations, guys. And if you have... Ah, oh, damn it. If you have a sweet game, you know, definitely let me know. Um, I also, though, have, like, a backlog of, like, hundreds of games <laughs> that I haven't played. But, uh, but hey, I'm always... I'm like a... I, I told you, I'm a little gaming addict. Not much has changed since I was a kid. So I'm always looking for more. I feel like this doll has run out of ammunition. She's just going through the motions. Right. Man, if we take one more hit, we're done. By the way, <clears throat> excuse me. Now. Um, this is I, uh, this is a, a platformer I'm playing on uh, with a keyboard. And uh, okay, I guess we can't get in there. I don't know what the point of that is. Oh god, is there spikes? <laughs> there are spikes right there. Yes, oh! We found a way in! Yes, we got this! Hey look, there's a, like a star there. Oh, there's carrots! That's what we need is the carrots, man. Um, but anyway, this is a platformer on DOS, obviously, so I'm actually playing with it on a keyboard. And I'm really enjoying actually using the keyboard. It's I think I find platformers easier to play, obviously, with a um, controller, with a game controller. But, like, I, I grew up playing almost... Uh, I don't know if I'd say more DOS, but I played a heck of a lot of DOS back in my day. Oh, man. <laughs> Do you like that? That was like a wall jump there. Um, and so, like, I definitely, like, grew up playing Commander Keen and stuff. Like, I had a Nintendo as well. <laughs> no, there were... Oh, there were freaking carrots over there ah, oh. uh, okay let's let's give this one more shot I think we're down to our last life anyway let's let's see if we can actually do this oh I should use those things oh I never thought of that okay we have a whole bunch of TNT that exists to help us clear this part of the game oh my god I'm dumb kaboom Oh, they're like just totally gone. We like what we wiped, we committed genocide. We wiped out a whole species of uh, Lego men. We still took two hits. Unbelievable. Oh god, there's all these things. Didn't even notice. Oh my god. Okay, so we it kind of worked. Oh my god. Let's just do this. <laughs> we can't take any chances here. Okay, there we go. Um, we're not doing so hot. We've taken a lot of damage. Man, how do we keep getting to this spot with, like, one health? Okay, I just gotta remember where those, uh... Oh, God. Oh, no! Damn it! Oh, no! Continue! Uh, okay, one more shot. One more shot. We gotta get this. We gotta get this. It's the holidays. We can't end on a failure. We have to at least pass this level. Um, I've decided. But yes, anyway, I grew up playing a lot of DOS games, so, uh, and back in the day, like, I feel like these days it's trivial to get a joystick, but back in the day, if you had DOS, not only, uh, did you not necessarily have funds to buy a joystick, it was also way more of a pain in the butt to set joysticks up back in the day. Um, I remember, like, a lot of times, like, you'd have to fiddle with, like, serial port addresses and stuff. Like, honestly, one of the, one of the reasons that I really, um don't mind playing DOS games these days is like DOS box. DOS box is like the best thing that has ever been invented. It is just, it just works. Everything works. You can just play DOS games and you don't have to worry about it, man. Um, 
It's like, you don't have to worry about Sound Blaster, IRQ ports and stuff like that. You can literally just, uh, oh, this is where the one up is. We don't actually need it because uh, we're just passing this level and I don't think we need a one up. Okay, here we go. So we do this with TNT. Let's get another one going. I don't want to take a single hit here. Damn it, and I took a hit. <laughs> like the first thing that happens after I say I don't want to take a hit, I take two hits. Okay, I can't get through that part without taking two hits. It's just not possible. And I can't kill that thing. Okay. Let's uh, shoot him. There we go. All right, let's kill this raggedy Ann girl. Um, but yeah, anyway, for DOS games, it's like you, you would just get used to playing DOS games with a keyboard. And like these days, a lot of the times when I'm playing platformers, I usually connect up a joystick or uh, like a Super Nintendo style controller. Oh, damn it, which is, which is fine. But there is something very nostalgic about going back. Oh, I didn't even kill her. And uh, playing one of these, these games like on a keyboard for real. Like, I don't know, like just, so I, I'm a big believer in the, the control scheme that you use really influences how the game feels. So like, if you are trying to play a Super Nintendo game you've never played before, I 100% think you need to play that on a Super Nintendo style controller, even if you're using an emulator. Actually, I'm not one of those people who thinks that, you know, uh, old games have to be played on the original hardware. That, I, I don't really think that matters as much as the, um, as, as the controller. Because the original hardware, you know, if the game looks more or less the same, like you're probably not gonna notice. But if you have a different controller, the game can control very differently. And so I definitely believe that uh, p the controller matters. Oh God. Okay, we're not going that way because I'm just gonna die. Let's go back there. Where were the carrots? They were over here, weren't they? Yeah. So anyway, I specifically did not want to hook up a joystick for this game because I knew it was a DOS platform and I wanted to get the full DOS experience. There was something over here too, I remember. Yes, guns. All the guns. Jazz needs guns. Oh, one up. Okay, that's good. And then, oh my God. Oh God. Okay, hold on. We we have, we have, a, we have high explosives for just this kind of scenario. Yes, yes, we got, we, we got, uh, we got carrots. Oh, it feels like, oh, two more carrots. We're gonna pass the level, guys. It's a Christmas miracle. It's a Gaming J Christmas miracle. Not sucking at a video game. <laughs> also, we never did talk about this. I'm pretty sure he's carrying a crayon. Somehow this rabbit has armed himself with a crayon. He does look like, a, like the coolest rabbit I've ever seen. I will say that. Jazz, Jazz the Jack Rabbit. Don't jack him around. He'll jack back. Rabbit style. That actually sounds incredibly filthy. I was not going for that. It just came out wrong. Oh god! I, these these like these planes are totally like the ghosts in Super Mario Brothers. Uh, like they they basically try and follow you when you're not looking at them. But uh, we're gonna get around them, Jazz Jackrabbit style. You got jacked. Oh god. Oh. Okay, we gotta switch to our explosives. How many of these do we have? We have two more. I will use one there. I'm willing to go. I'm willing to go that route. What else do we have? Our blaster, our toaster. Like, how are you supposed to get up there? And there's nothing up there even. So who cares? That guy was just. This guy is like patrolling the most useless part of the map. Like, there's nothing up there. Unless I can't see. Yeah, there's like nothing up there. That guy went. Man, he drew the short straw in the day's patrol routes. I'll tell you that. Look at this giant rabbit kind of weird. It's meta. Rabbit meets rabbits. Ah, you jerk. <laughs> Damn it. Like, how are we supposed to get that guy? Like, could this do it? I just want to know. Oh, yeah, I guess it does. So you need these bouncy things or the TNT. Okay, so the bouncy things have a purpose. I guess everything has a purpose in life. But the bouncy things especially. Their purpose is to kill flying guys. Let's just shoot some bouncy things at these guys. Oh, kill him. Oh, well, whatever. Ah, no! Oh, my God. Man, how did we get to this point where, like, we're playing a level where it's, like, so easy to fail? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Oh, I'm panicking. Okay, hold on. We need the toaster. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I thought I just fell into a pit of spikes. Oh, my God. These raggedy ends are, like, bigger problems than they seem. Oh, my God. Okay. He's, like, in the brick right now. Your timing has to be like spot on. This one's useless. Where she is, she's just throwing it into that brick there. So we can kill her, no problem. We can kill her. Shoot her in the back! So what what fate befell these toys? Oh god! That they are all like allying against Jazz Jack. Right? Oh, oh we have a checkpoint! We have a checkpoint. Oh, and he has no other weapons. Look, it just goes to static. Um, that sucks. Okay, we can do this though. We have a checkpoint. Oh, damn. I guess I needed that extra life then. Oh, no, no, no! Get in here. Okay, you lure you down and then escape. I, I should kill these guys because I'm pretty sure they don't go away. They just will hunt you across the entire map. Oh, my God. Look at them. Oh, my God. I don't have TNT this time. How are you supposed to kill that thing without TNT? Just take the head. I guess. I guess you have to have health. Like that thing, too. I have no weapons. This is ridiculous. I'm just gonna have to take another hit here. Oh, or be or be extra leet like that. Didn't know I had it in me, guys. But yeah, this is like the island of misfit toys gone rogue. It's like a bunch of toys that are like hyper aggressive and angry. Just get through it. Just take the hit. All right, we finally have weapons again. Kill that guy. Oh my god. Oh, shoot. Oh wait, we can't stand here. We're like a, a, a single teddy bear. Single animate teddy bear has protected us from death. I'm pretty sure we'll die if we fall down there. Let's not do it. Let's not chance it. Oh wait, actually, I don't think you can. Look, I can't fall down here. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I did remember reading something about how in Jazz Jackrabbit, there are infinite abysses. So there's no like pit you can fall down that will just kill you. Which is actually pretty sweet. This guy. Okay, I think he's dead. Ugh. Oh no! Run for it! Run for it! How, how are we not at the end of this level yet? This is like the longest level ever. A rabbit only has so much in him. Oh my god. We did it! We did it! It's a, it's a holiday Kwanzaa Christmas vacation day miracle! We did it! Don't miss out on the continuing adventures of Jazz. Call 800-927-7434 to check it out. I wonder who you'd reach if you actually called this number these days. <laughs> also, look, there's a nuclear weapon. Holy crap. Well, we actually beat the entire holiday special. I didn't know this was the end of the game. Well, I feel an, an incredible sense of satisfaction that we actually did it, guys. We completed a holiday video game. Yay, that's me applauding myself. Maybe you guys can applaud along. Um, I had fun with this one. I guess that's why I got so hard at the end. Um, I will say that, you know, evaluating this game, I think that they didn't really demarcate and indicate that I was making any progress. I thought it was just another random level. I didn't even see a boss or anything. So I think one thing with Jazz Jackrabbit, of the holiday uh, levels at least, is that they just kind of feel like some random levels with no real story, plot, or purpose to them. Um, I think the other episode, you can see there's like a, a some kind of sinister turtle who's holding my uh, blue-haired girlfriend uh, captive while there's a cool turtle hanging out with them, as cool as turtles can be, and there's like a monkey and stuff. I think the other episodes have more going on, but as far as this one... Um, it feels just basically sort of like um, something that was sort of just pulled together for the holidays, which is fine, which is fine. It, it played well. It looks cool. Thank you for playing the Jazz Jack Rab Rabbit Christmas Edition from 1995, 22 years ago, guys. We at Epic Mega Games hope you and your loved ones, that's me and you guys, have a great holiday season and a happy new year. Thank you for your business, and we look forward to seeing you in 1996. <laughs> Oh yeah, and we got a high score! J. Christmas J, in fact. Yeah, he's totally holding, it's like a highlighter or something like that. So it's not a gun, it's a highlighter. So there you go, guys. 
uh, Jazz Jackrabbit Holiday Hair. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little playthrough here as the first game in our Winter Level Wonderland special. Tune back in in a few days if you have enjoyed this because there will be another holiday Christmassy themed kind of game and we can give that one a shot too. Um, until next time guys, I hope you are enjoying your time off. I hope you have time off. You might not be on vacation yet, but maybe it's coming up soon for you. If it is, I sincerely hope you play some great video games. You have some time off to just bum around the house and recharge your batteries and otherwise just enjoy. The, the one nice thing about winter is it's, it's really cold and mucky outside usually um, and, and snowy and stuff, but it makes you bundle up inside and get all warm and toasty. And uh, I, usually, I usually like that with a good video game and uh, a, gla a glass of Coke. I bet you thought I was going to say like brandy or something. Um, not a huge drinker. I do drink, but I don't know. Just not not huge into it. Anyway, I, I, I'm just I'm getting totally off topic here. Oh, the LFG 2000. That's what he's got. I don't know what that stands for. The the something. I don't even know. I can't even come up with something funny. Hey, look, and our enemy is Devin. I am this rabbit, and I want to destroy Devin. Devin sounds like such a jerk name. And Eva Caritas interesting well hey the instructions hey look there's a whole backstory and stuff there you go guys there you go wait 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 he had a slow motion mode that's like bullet time before bullet time whoa this game was ahead of the curve guys okay 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 I i'm gonna wrap it up here all right get out of here get out of here all right we'll see you guys next time all right peace Play this game in slow motion. This actually would have been helpful at the hard parts. Whee! Hey, the star actually does something. Well, now I feel like an idiot. We should have been playing this game in slow motion. So much easier. Ah well, you live you learn guys.